Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Happy Thanksgiving to you and your families. Today, I'm here with the cab over once again where I left her yesterday, where we were washing it. I'm gonna get some stuff cleaned up and then I'm taking it back to Amber's parents' house where we did some work on the Corvette and we are gonna try to get the top off of it and a few other things and maybe get the backside of a pressure wash. But for now, I'm gonna hop in there, let the air pressure build and uh, clean up my mess and be on the road. All right, guys, we're doing it. I know a lot of you wouldn't approve. It's not safe, but we are getting her freaking home. We're in seventh gear right now. Just kind of cruising, 25. Not giving her too much, too much juice. So we're gonna... this thing drives so nice, fellas. Oh god, and ladies, it drives so nice. I'm in love. Not wait to take a nap back there tonight. Well, guys, we made it home safe and sound on the back roads, far away from anybody traveling on the road. And in the first video where I went to start it, guys, this hose, it actually, I don't think it's even the hose, Chris. I think it's the freaking, it's the fitting that's just bad. But what we're going to try to do is switch these fitting hoses around and see if we can make it jack the cab up without having to change the whole hose out. Uh, this fitting is just trash. Yep. <laughs> well, guys, we got the jack all primed up, full of fluid. It was extremely low. Um, the hose broke off. We can get that repaired once we get the cab jacked up at my shop because we make those little tiny hydraulic hoses at my shop. So that shouldn't be a problem. Um, but we finally got it moving a little bit. You guys, you guys can see she's moving. Hopefully. One of these hoses don't blow and the cab goes forward too fast so that one's gonna leak oil is what it's gonna do so all right we're gonna get this thing jacked up no this is so sketchy will it fall no well i don't know we'll to find out it's not gonna fall off but... uh oh the, the 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 screen went black. That's okay. This old hose was weird. It's something. It was just like a spray thing that you had on it. Right, it's well. gonna hit your truck. <laughs> yeah, I think you can go to a certain point, then you need some more oil in it. Hey, we're getting there though. It's gonna fall. It's not gonna fall. Baby. It's on hydraulics. Oh shit, that scared me. <laughs> That's deep. Why well, it's a big motor? So it goes to a certain point, it's just. Guys, now that we've got the cab propped up, I'm going to pull the broken hose off right here out of the truck and go make two of them and replace both of these hoses that go from the jack to the cylinders. Because all the hoses up here in the front of the truck are all still in decent shape compared to these right here. These are just exposed to the elements. So I'm going to pull one off, get the measurements on it, and go to our shop up at Wilson's Tractor and make a couple new hoses, get those installed. And then um, while I'm back up there, I'm going to grab a couple of things to work on pressure washing this. I'm trying to find the engine ID information on it. I can't find it. So uh, I'm sure we'll find it by the end of the video in here somewhere. Made it up here to the shop at Wilson's Tractor. And we've got our hydraulic hose um, making stuff here and our crimper. And I've got six and a half foot of, I don't know what size, I guess it would be quarter inch um, hose. And I found all the fittings we need. Since I'm eliminating this one piece that's broken on the pump, you guys will see when we get back. I'm just using a 90 degree fitting there. So we have two of those, and we've got two of these female fittings right here that should be the correct ones for our hoses. So I'm gonna get these crimped onto here. So these are gates, they're really simple to use. You just shove them right over, right, right all the way all up inside there. Real good, nice and tight like. And do that the same for this end right here. You can see inside there where it crimps and holds it down. You'll see the machine do its job here in just a second, so. Now that that's in there, make sure it's bottomed out. 
Stick it up inside here. And find the hole. There we go. And the shover in there, I've already preset it according to our information here. And it's gonna crimp it. And that's it. All crimped. So now we're gonna do that to the other three fittings and head back out the truck and get that wind visor off. Guys, we made it back. And you can see right here is the bad hydraulic line I started taking off. What I'm going to do is go ahead and just run both lines next to where these went. And then I'll bolt these in later. But just for the sake of today, and we're running out of daylight because of daylight savings time. I want to get the cab folded back down and get the top off of it and try to pressure wash the roof. So we're going to get these things stuck on there right quick and get her pumped back down. So we got this thing all jacked back down, guys. Um, I'm going to hop up there and see what all tools I need to start unbolting the top. I'm going to carry my impact and things like that up there with me. See if we can get this top unbolted and pushed off top of this thing and pressure wash the rest of it. <laughs> well, I got up here at the top of the truck, got a couple things unbolted, and I think this panel's... Right, oh, did it get peeny? <laughs> Almost. <laughs> There's one. This one is pretty really close, too. Then we got him. He's probably scared now. He is. Oh, wow. See, I think all this is going to go at once together. Off the front. I need a, um... Uh, hang on. What size do I need? You're going to have some kids screaming in the background. I think I may need a saw sawzall. I don't know yet. Hmm. Yeah, I need a saw saw. Okay. Much easier than using bolts. Ooh. Okay. Yep. That's how you get her done. Well, guys, we got the top off. It's down there on the ground. I can't wait to get down off the truck and see what it freaking looks like. But you guys already seen that. I haven't even seen it yet. I'm going to get our super clean can. Oh! <laughs> that Amber sucks at throwing. And coat the top of this baby. And uh, pressure wash it here in a moment. Stuff should start working wonders. Get these chicken lights all clean. Be right back in just a moment. So you guys can see where I just sprayed the super clean all over the cab, and the stuff's starting to turn orange, or it's already trying to peel it off. And this is going to be a really, really nice pressure washing job right here. I can't wait. It's a little slippery, so I'm going to try not to fall off at the same time.
And there we have it, guys. This thing is all clean. Um, I did get some advice from someone that said to leave the brackets on top of the cab until you get ready to do a headliner or something like that because the bolts are just going to cause problems. So we're going to leave the brackets there for now until we decide to start working on the interior. And I'm going to climb down trying to die. And there you have it, everyone. The International Corn Binder cab over is all freaking cleaned up. Got the top off of her, pressure washed the best we could. I even got around back here, I didn't get on film, but I got the back side of the cab pressure washed, got the hoses and power cord hung up where they belong. So, we are gonna keep the cab extensions like everyone said. Um, I don't know about the paint scheme. We're probably just gonna let it ride for a little while until we, you know, get a run in and road worthy and actually driving down the road. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's been going crazy. We got some people going on next door with their families and stuff like that. So that's why I hear kids in the background. But you guys are really freaking killing it on the semi uploads. I know you guys love the semi trucks. We're going to do lots more content with this. Going to get the other cab jack hose put on probably in the next video. And do some more cleaning on the back of the truck and on the engine. And um, do some more research on what engine's in it and the history on the engine. And probably do a service in the next video. Make sure you guys smash the like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel, guys. My name is Bruce Wilson. Go to brucewilsonshop.com. We've got our Make Tractors Great Again t-shirts and the Wheel of Star keychains right now for our Black Friday savings. Now through Saturday at 12 a.m. Everything on the website will be 25% off. Just use code 25 at checkout, guys. We'll catch y'all later. Peace.